Police investigators have been busy this weekend after a brutal stretch on Hawaii roads. Across the state, a number of major traffic incidents, including one involving an HPD officer. Emily Cristobal has our top story. Yeah, guys, there was a number of critical crashes that happened over the last few days, some involving pedestrians. But one happened late last night in which a police officer was in critical condition. The crash happened on the H3 freeway around 1150 last night. Officials said the 45 year old officer was conducting traffic control for an earlier crash near the Hirano Tunnel when he was struck by a vehicle. Police said the 25-year-old driver was trying to avoid a vehicle stopped in the roadway when he swerved, crashing into the officer, pinning him. In a statement, HPD Chief Joe Logan said the officer that was injured had 15 years of service and at this time that his name would not be released. Through the investigation, police said speed, drugs, or alcohol do not appear to be contributing factors, but an investigation is still ongoing. We also have an update to a moped crash in Waipahu that happened on Farrington Highway Saturday night. One of the moped riders, a 28-year-old man who was taken to the hospital in critical condition, has died. Police said that rider was speeding when he crashed into another moped. At last check, officials said the other rider is listed in serious condition. Now to a crash that happened around 1 a.m. on the H2 freeway in Wahiwa. Police said a 60-year-old pedestrian was critically injured after he was struck by a drunk driver who was traveling in the shoulder lane. He was arrested at the scene. And on Maui, a 30-year-old pedestrian was critically injured after being struck by a car in Kahului. Officials said an 18-year-old driver crashed into the man while he was crossing the street. But police added that the pedestrian was not in a marked crosswalk and was wearing dark colored clothing at the time of the crash. At this time, police said speed does not appear to be a factor in the crash, but authorities are still investigating whether alcohol or drugs were involved. And again, all of these crashes are under investigation and we'll have the latest updates for you on air and online at hawaiinewsnow.com. This is Emily Cristobal reporting for Hawaii News Now.